Yo, what's going on guys, Hennis here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a countdown timer to OBS. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the link in the description down below to the OBS plugin countdown GitHub page. It's a simple plugin with some pretty cool functionality that allows you to add a basic countdown timer to OBS. To download, come over here on the right-hand side under releases and click the latest, and then scroll down and download for your platform. Since I'm running Windows, I'll download the Windows X64 installer.exe. Once you've got it downloaded, before you open it up and install, just make sure you don't have OBS open. Once you're all set, just double click to open the installer. If you get this Windows Defender smart screen warning, just click more info and then click run anyway. Click yes on the UAC prompt and then just follow the instructions to install as you would anything else. Click next. Now this won't apply to most of you, but if you have OBS installed in an unusual non-default location, specify that here, but for most of you, it'll be this. So just click next, click next and click install. And you can see the installation happens pretty quickly and then you can click finish. Then all you've got to do is open up OBS. So I'll go ahead and open up mine. Now, when you open OBS, you won't notice anything at first until you come up to the docs tab and click countdown timer. And this will open up the countdown timer doc. If you don't see this pop up or you don't see countdown timer underneath your docs, that probably means something went wrong with the installation. And I would either reinstall the countdown timer or reinstall OBS entirely. So for now, I'm just gonna take the countdown timer and dock it here in the lower portion of my OBS. Now, the first step to get this countdown timer working, we have to actually assign a text source for the countdown timer to display the timer itself. So underneath sources, right click, go to add and click text. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call mine timer. And then in here for now, you don't have to set any properties. We can just click okay. Now you'll see in the countdown timer doc, we have the source selected as timer. Because this is the only text source I have in this instance of OBS, it looks like the countdown timer just automatically grabbed it. But for you, you're gonna wanna come here and make sure you select the text source that you just created. Now we'll skip over message and scene for now and come down to period and time. These are the two different types of countdown timers we can have in OBS. The period countdown timer is gonna count down from a specific time, one minute, five minutes, one hour, whatever you want. So to demonstrate this, I'll put in a new period countdown timer. We'll do one hour, 27 minutes, and 45 seconds. And once you've got your time inputted, click this reset button, and you'll notice your text source changes to the period countdown timer we just inputted. And once you're ready to start your countdown timer, just click play, and you'll notice the countdown timer starts ticking down. So that's the first type of countdown we can do. The second one is called time, and this will actually count down to a specific time of day. So you can see right now that I'm recording this video at 2.22 p.m. And let's say I wanted to have a countdown go off at 2.25. I believe this time here is in 24 hour time format. So 2.25 would actually be 14, 25, and then just for fun, we'll add some seconds. We'll add 13 seconds. And then if we click play timer, you'll see the countdown timer will change and start counting down to 225 and 13 seconds. So those are the two types of countdowns you can do, but what if you wanna add a little customization and pizzazz to it too? Here under message, you can set what your text source will change to once the timer reaches zero. So if I quickly change this to, let's just say 224 instead of 225, and I set the message to yay, exclamation point, and I click play, once this timer reaches zero, the text source will change to yay. And there we go. You can see it changed to yay. So that's pretty cool. If you had a countdown to somebody's birthday, you could have it say happy birthday or something like that. And then scene allows you to switch to a specific scene once the timer reaches zero. So let's say we had another scene in here. We'll call it congrats. And in this scene, I had another text source. We'll just call it celebrate. And this text source just said happy birthday. I'll put that right in the middle of the screen. I'll go back to scene one. Now, if I change this count on timer to 225 and change the scene to congrats and click play, once this timer reaches zero, it'll switch to the congrats scene. And there we go. So I'm sure you can imagine how fun this would be if you had a scene set up to celebrate when the timer hits zero or to show some special announcement or whatever you want. And the last little functionality to note is you can actually set the format that the timer displays in on screen. So here you see we can toggle hours, minutes, and seconds. So let's go back to period. We'll reset this one hour, 27 minute, and 45 second countdown timer. And let's say we only wanted to show minutes and seconds. If we uncheck hours, and click play, the hours just won't display. And you can do this for minutes, seconds, or any combination. Now, I'm not really sure how this could be super useful since you can only add one text source to the OBS count on timer. It would be cool if you could add an individual text source for hours, minutes, and seconds, and then you could do different font styles and customizations for each one of those values. So just be careful for whatever countdown timer you set that you actually display the hours, minutes, and seconds as you need. And the good thing is that hours, minutes, and seconds all come checked by default. And the very last thing to note is because this is just a normal text source in OBS, you can apply all the usual customizations to it that you would any other text file. You can change the font, the font style, the font size. You can add a stroke, a background color, change the color of the font, whatever you want. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Peace.